Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Elizabeth Warren making news, making news, breaking news. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, it's ideas. Ideas are flowing, flowing like liquid into the mind stream because they're all running for president, right? So Elizabeth Warren is shrugging off uh, a pledge, <clears throat> her pledge to break up uh, 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 big tech giants, right? So investors are just like blowing her off, right? So Elizabeth Warren is making some news right now, right? Again, uh, ideas, ideas. Let's talk about the ideas. The principles before the personality, right? Now, she's a quirky, crazy lady, right? But look at her. <laughs> What's she talking about? So this is, uh, where is this? New York Post. The reporting. Investors shrug off Warren's pledge to break up Tech giants. Wow. What a great idea. Haven't we been we've been saying that for, for two years now, right? Google, Facebook, Amazon. Break them up. Break them up. Because why? Because they're a monopoly, right? They're crushing the little investors. They're crushing the little guy, right? Am I exaggerating? No, no of course. That's that's monopoly is the problem. Elizabeth Warren, in her presidential ambitions, it's <laughs> going at he's she's going after Google and Facebook. Let's see. So, so Senator Elizabeth Elizabeth Warren vowed on Friday that if elected president, she would uh, bust up Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Bam! Fucking <laughs> right to promote <clears throat> competition in the tech sector and protect consumers. Right now, Elizabeth Warren is probably if there's any people in Congress, right? If you had to pick the, the top 10, Elizabeth Warren is definitely in that top 10 of people who actually know what's going on on Wall Street. Now, she's a, she's a, she was a, I guess, an economics professor before she ran for Congress, but she's very knowledgeable about, she can tell you what a credit default swap is and a, you know, and a reverse derivative and, and all these, you know, short sales. She could tell you what these things are. She's one of the few people that actually knows what's going on. Now, is she yellow? Is she is she gonna does she fold like a cheap suit? Does she say one thing and mean another? It, all I don't care. The idea and the policy. That's that's what Conti's talking about today. So the Massachusetts lawmaker unveiled the proposal in a block post as she seeks to stand out in the Democratic uh, candidate field, crowded uh, with progressives veering to oust Donald Trump in twenty twenty. Right? Whatever whatever brings you to the table, who cares? You know. Who, who cares, right? So uh, investors shrugged off her comments, with shares in the three companies barely moving. Uh, we'll see about that as time moves on, right? Warren's plan envisions a new business category for companies that have more than $25 billion in revenue and also have an online market uh, place or exchange. Under the plan, such companies would have to meet a standard of fair, reasonable, and non-discriminatory dealings with users. Wow, that's that's nice, and would not be allowed to share data with their with other firms. Right? Any such proposal uh, would face uh, myriad obstacles in Congress and the courts, right? Because Congress is on the take, and the courts are rigged, right? So yeah, of course, because of the lobby money, they lobby, they give billion, they give millions and millions of dollars. Warren argued in her post on the blog uh, platform Medium. Uh, that big tech companies have risen to dominance in part by buying up potential competitors. Yeah, that's right. It's called hostile takeover. They, get, they find little competitors, smaller, smaller uh, organizations that, ha- that, that might someday compete for market share, and they buy them out or sell them or crush them or deplatform them, right? That's what's going on here. I'll show you, you know, my own, uh, my own statistics, right? Right. Uh, they've bulldozed competition. This is Elizabeth Warren quote. They've bulldozed competition, used our private information for profit, and tilted the playing field against everyone else. And in the process, they have hurt small businesses and stifled innovation, she wrote. We're going to hear her say it uh, uh, also. So... Uh, let's watch. So that's the deal. So listen. Big listen. banks. Today you're talking about breaking up big tech. Why? Yep. So here's the deal. We need real competition in this field. Again, principles before personality, right? 
Let's look at the principle and be principled people today. And there's a problem. So Amazon, Google, they own a platform, which is pretty cool, right? Where everybody comes to buy and sell or to do the searches. And at the same time, they own a bunch of businesses that are competing with all those folks who are coming, say, to Amazon in order to sell their goods. And they don't just compete straight up. They compete by being able to keep all of the information from every one of those companies and then decide, oh. She's describing a monopoly. She's describing where, where, where a corporation like Amazon or even Google right here on, on YouTube where I'm not, I'm not in direct competition. I am in direct competition with someone like CNN, but I get pushed to the back of the line. I'll show you evidence of that in a second. But she, she's making good points. Just listen. I'm going after you and you, and I know how much to charge, and I know what kind of volume to expect. You know, it's a little, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little like being an umpire in baseball and owning a team. My view is you can do one, be an umpire, or the other, own a team, but you don't have to do both at the same right, time. Right, and you want to... That's a great analogy, right? So she's saying she's saying that, that they're... they're they have their cake and they could eat it too. Like, would you want the the would you want the opposing team that owns the umpire? Do you want to play against the team that owns the umpire? No, you don't want to play because if he makes a bad call on you, that's good. If he makes a bad call on them, he he's going to lose his job. It's great. I mean, that's monopoly. That's the essence of monopoly. Regulate so they don't just favor themselves. You dropped this plan today. This is your first big TV interview about it. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at some of the reception today. Okay. <laughs> Senator Elizabeth Warren is going after big tech companies. Warren rolling out one of her big policy planks, breaking up Amazon, Google, and other big tech giants. This is the toughest plan that we've seen to date from any of the Democratic contenders. For a huge shakeup in the tech sector. It's big and it's bold and it's going to be difficult to achieve. Could she really force this kind of breakup? Could she really do it? <laughs> uh, you what's bet. the answer? <laughs> the answer is yes. But you know what? The, the big the big thing is look at the look at the way uh, the mainstream media is clamoring behind this. Usually they, they try to kill it, right? They, they, they try to kill it, but they've given her a platform to break up Google, Amazon, and Facebook. Very interesting. Let's see if what, what comes out of it. Let's be really clear about this. If you still want to be able to search for coffee pots and look at, you know, 63 choices and get the one that's going to be there in 48 hours, you can still do that as a consumer. This preserves the platform. If you still want to go on Google and find out the capital of North Dakota, you can totally do it. What this is about is about competition. It's about all those little businesses and startup businesses and entrepreneurs who want to put their products on Amazon or on Google and who are at an enormous competitive disadvantage because Amazon or Google, if they like the money they see that you're making because they get all the information, they decide to go into competition with you and put their product on page one and your product back on page six so let's, and kill your business. Let's go through some- Kill your business, bingo. Bingo! Wow, is she is she right? Look at my look at my business. <laughs> so that's why I mean, again, Marcus Conti. This is a people people powered uh, uh, venture, right? And I know you know there's a lot of there's a handful of you guys that have, that have become Patreons. I need you to become Patreons. Look, and I'll show you the evidence, right? So these are the last five videos that I did. These were all yesterday, right? And you notice, not suitable for advertisers, not suitable for advertisers. They're all demonetized, right? So they, why? Because, right? So, but as time goes on, what they do is you have to argue with them. When you get the, 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 initial, the initial push on your video, when it just comes out, that's when most of the people watch it, right? And, and they demonetize it. While CNN, that shit doesn't happen with the mainstream media. The people that get the big that give a lot of money to, to, to the organizations, right? Now, I don't know it, who exactly gets to the front of the line, but I could tell you that for someone like me, I get pushed to the back of the line. So it's an uneven playing field. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get to, you get to, to put up a video and, and voice your opinion, yeah, but you get to starve to death because you can't make a living, right? 
it's it's uh, you can't make a living doing it because you get you get shuffled to the bottom of the list and you get demonetized. Uh, so there's there's an example. Although all what's what's demonetizing about all of these videos? Trump will keep troops in Syria. Trump says political speech. It's all just you know most of these were just regurgitations of yesterday's news, right? With some opinion, right? Right, the the Venezuela thing, the with the electrical warfare, right? So, so, so that so it does go on. So, what's the takeaway here? Right. So, uh, you gotta love Elizabeth Warren. I know Pocahontas. Oh, no, 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 no. She in the end, she lied on her entrance exam to get into Harvard. Whatever. Who cares? Who fucking cares? It's the idea. It's the ideas, right? We can't dwell on just the negatives, right? Now, like for example, uh, Ilhan Omar, right? I'm sure she's she has a bad past, or you know, with with made some racial comments. Who cares? Who gives a shit, right? She's out there fighting. She's calling Obama a fucking smiley face, right? And 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 uh, Elizabeth Warren too. Elizabeth Warren is uh, is doing some good work right now by by bringing to the mainstream, splitting up the large tech companies, right? Now, you pair that with Bernie Sanders, who wants to break up the banks. I think you got a winning team right there. You know, fucking president, vice president. I put fucking Bernie up on top of that, right? Turn Bernie on top of that that ticket. Now, those are ideas. I don't give a shit about the people. Right? I don't care about the people. It's not about the people. This is not about me. That's not about them. It's about, maybe to them it's about them. But the idea, the ideas of breaking up the the large tech. It's one step short of, of Yellow Vest. You know, we'll talk about that, you know, later. But the Yellow Vest is still going strong. And, right, in this country, we have the, I, we still have somewhat of a functioning democracy. Now, could we ever, could, could these ideas ever come to pass? Well, they can. Can we ever overcome the margin of cheating? Yeah, we can. Can we ever overcome the powerful influence of money in politics yeah we can we can do it with 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 uh, numbers our sheer numbers and stop fighting amongst each other calling each other names right socialist you're a fucking socialist a capitalist you're you're a communist you're a left wing right wing you're you're this you're that you're a conservative you're a, you're a liberal you're <laughs> it's all killing I'm none of those things I right? Nonetheless, I've been called every one of them, right? And a lot of other things, too. But the fact is that right here we have some really good uh, uh, ideas on the table. Whether Elizabeth Warren becomes the next president of the United States is 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 uh, highly, you know, uh, open to, 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 to uh, discussion. <laughs> but nonetheless, she brought some good ideas uh, to the table. Marcus Conti reporting. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button.